What's going on guys? Welcome to the next part of our standard deviation tutorial series here, or mini-series. Uh, where we left off, we were actually calculating standard deviation. Now we need to go ahead and actually just plot it on up. If you don't already have uh, the sample code, it is on the link in the description. And just make sure you cup, uh, highlight all of it. Just do a nice copy. And uh, we'll paste it in here. Now where we edit this code, I made like two little commented spots where you can start and end the code to make it real nice and easy. And that's where we're going to be doing our coding. So to add it to the chart, it's actually pretty simple. We're going to make a quick little function here called define uh, standard deviation and then TF for time frame of that uh, standard deviation. SD for standard deviation will be an empty array. SD date. Same thing, empty array. X for our starting point will start at time frame, whatever that is. While X is less than the length of uh, the date, what we're going to go ahead and do is say array to consider is going to be the close price of X, uh, the index value of X to the, or index value of X minus time frame to the actual value of X. So that will be the full array of uh, data to consider. Then standev is going to be array to consider dot std for standard deviation. That is built into uh, Python. It's not something we've done. Um, so the next thing that we want to do is sd dot uh, append standev. Then we're going to do sd date dot append uh, date x. Then we'll go ahead and run our x plus equals one. And when this is all done, return s. Oops, return sd date sd. And that's really it. That's all we have to do with our standard deviation equation. So then we need to scroll down a little bit here and do uh, sd date sd equals standard deviation. <clears throat> we'll do a ten for now. Then we'll just do an ax2 dot plot s date and as the and we'll color it white and that's really it so now we can save that run that uh, pick whatever stock you want and plot that up so here's an example of uh, eBay I'm plotting the standard deviation of eBay um, another good one to do is uh, Apple so we can do APL bring over Apple so as you can see, as Apple, you know, was steadily rising, it was getting a little bit more volatile, and it really got volatile here and volatile here, and you can see that. Um, and so, anyway, that's standard deviation, and now we can uh, resume back to our alphabetical order and do start doing uh, the Bollinger Bands. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for all the support and the subscriptions, and until next time.